from what I could tell, we had one hog and one hog only in there tearing up the flower beds. There might be a few others in here, but they don't seem to be hitting the lawns. And uh, he always came in early, early or late, late. This guy was in here pretty early, so wasn't a perfect shot. It was on the shoulder. 223 isn't going to do that good on a shoulder shot like that, so he took off up over the hill there, and uh, I don't believe he'll be coming back. Dogs are wonderful. I don't believe he'll be coming back. I've got to get rid of him any way I can. This is not hog hunting. This is hog removal. Blood. Blood. And gone. These hogs are coming in over and over and over, and they're brave. They don't care about lights, they don't care about human scent or anything else. They're ripping this place up. It's been two weeks since I popped that one in the neck that I never recovered, and I've hunted hard. The swimming pool right here, and that's what you call hog rooting. Kitchen and cabana, folks. Four foot ledge. Right now, I got about an hour and a half till that sun goes down. I'm gonna go stalk the creek beds. I'm gonna get up on that mountain and see if I can find them bedded before they get down here. Kill a deer 35 yards away. Bang! You're dead, deer. Three dumbass deer. I could shoot you all. If I wasn't selected, that's a nice fat mama. Hog wars, folks. They've been in for two weeks straight. And I have not been able to get on them. I just finished stalking the mountain. The sun's gone down. Now the smoke's gone. And the air is all clear Those who were right there Got a new Oh, I'm shaking pretty good, folks. I just put two shirts on because it was starting to get chillier. I look out the window and not 20 yards away. They stick it in your face and make I swear, folks, this is ghost hog. This is the same damn hog I've shot two, three times before. And you know what? That AR-15 did the job this time. Finally. What a good shot. Let me tell you folks, this thing's got some cutters on it. It's got some good cutters, a lot of rushing in this pig, a lot of rushing. He was just right there before I even knew it. I was trying to put a couple of shirts on. I had to take them off already, just dragging them around a bit. I got him with a new AR, couldn't have been happier. I really wish I could have gotten some better video of this thing. Uh, I just had what I was using, this little camera on the front of the rifle. The same pig I shot about a year back right by the trap, you guys remember it, went down at the hog trap and ran off. How do I know this? I took a headshot on that pig and it dropped quick. Folks, right here in front of this hog's eyeballs is a hole going right through the bridge of its nose. I shot this pig right through the bridge of the nose, all the way through. It healed up and it lived. That shows you how incredibly hardy these hogs are. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful animal. It really is. Probably one of the prettiest hogs I've ever taken.